Dear students, welcome back to Odelia Vlogs. Today we can discuss the module 1, part 4 and in this the contents are the following. Energy resources, land resources, role of individual in conservation of natural resources, equitable use of resources for sustainable lifestyles. First we can study energy resources in detail. We have to study the meaning, types, growing energy needs, renewable and non-renewable energy resources and the use of alternative energy resources. First we can study what is an energy resource. So no, it, energy resources are all forms of fuels which are obtained in the modern world for heating for uh, generation of electricity or any other form of electricity uh, or any other form of energy. Now we can study there are two types of energy resources. One is renewable and the second one is non-renewable resources. We can study what is a renewable energy resource. These are resources which can be used again and again and the different forms of renewable energy resources are solar energy, wind energy, hydro energy, tidal energy, geothermal energy and biomass energy. We can study what is solar energy. We know it is the energy we are obtaining from sunlight and there are two types of energy we are obtaining from sun. One is thermal energy which is everywhere which lights up our days, heats the earth, our bodies and our homes. It dries our clothes all for free. Next, electric energy. Electric energy is also obtained from sun and this uses the power of sun to produce electricity through solar cells called as photovoltaics or solar panels. Next, wind energy. A wind mill, we have all seen everywhere there is a wind mill in the fields and all and these wind mills captures wind energy which is very clean energy and this then uses a generator to convert to electric energy. Next we can study what is hydro energy. Here the kinetic energy in the flowing water is converted into electric energy. What is kinetic energy? You have studied it physics. The energy possessed by virtue of its motion. So falling in or flowing out of water turns the turbines to produce electricity. Next we can study what is tidal energy. What is a tide? You have studied this in science. Tides are the waves caused due to the gravitational pull of moon and sun. During high tide water flows into the dam and during low tide water flow out which will result in the movement of the turbines. Next is geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is used from the heat of the earth and it is actually used in cold countries just as UK and all to heat home or to generate electricity. It is a good alternative to fossil fuels because it is a sustainable source of energy. Next we can study what is a biomass energy. Biomass are the materials used for energy which are plants, wood and waste and the energy from these organisms can be burned to create heat or electricity. So it is organic and it is made up of living organisms. So it is an energy generated or produced by living or once living organisms. Now we can go to the next slide. Non-renewable energy resources. Non-renewable energy resources are those which once used cannot be replaced. They are of four types, crude oil, natural gas, or coal and nuclear energy. Crude oil, natural gas and coal are collectively called fossil fuels. Crude oil is a naturally occurring unrefined petroleum product composed of hydrocarbon deposits in natural underground pools or reservoirs. Coal is a combustible block sedimentary rock formed as rock strata called ro coal seams. It is mostly made up of carbon with variable amounts of other elements such as hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen and nitrogen. Natural gas 
it is a naturally occurring mixture of gaseous hydrocarbons mainly methane and these three are the fossil fuels what are fossil fuels they are found underground in the layers of rocks and sediments which are formed within the earth from the dead plants and animals over millions of years the pressure and heat together transformed the dead and decayed matter of plants and animals into crude oil coal and natural gas and hence its name came fossil fuels next nuclear energy it uses energy in the nucleus of an atom it uses nuclear reactions to produce electricity like nuclear fission nuclear fusion and it comes from radioactive materials like uranium plutonium etc now what are the growing needs of energy needs that is very important uh, matter in our society now because energy is needed everywhere for whatever care, uh, whatever things we need energy so for almost 200 years before coal was the primary energy source at the close of 20th century crude oil has been accounted as the world's commercial energy consumption global oil demand continues to grow until 2040 urbanization industrialization and unbelievable rise in human settlements have multiplied the energy requirement next we can study about the use of alternative energy sources what is the use of alternative energy sources alternative energy is any energy other than fossil fuel 90% of world's energy supply is from fossil fuels and the carbon stored in these fossil fuels is released as carbon dioxide when they are burnt which will lead to greenhouse effect and global warming so it is always preferable to use natural energy resources which are sustainable to the environment so that we can prevent this climatic changes due to global warming and greenhouse effect next we can study what is a land resource land resource is the most important natural resource on which human human activity is based land sustains every living beings and supports forests and grasslands land degradation degradation of land is due to the loss of its potential production capability as a result of degradation of soil and loss of fertility of the top soil we can study the causes first one is deforestation second one soil erosion third is mining unsustainable agricultural practices industrialization urban expansion deforestation we have already discussed soil erosion we have already discussed mining also we have already discussed unsustainable agriculture practices include use of artificial fertilizers that also we discussed in module 1 in the part 2 next industrialization we know lot of industries are developed due to urbanization and as a result lots of rails and roads are constructed metro and as a result again the land gets degraded urban expansion development is inevitable but it should not spoil the environment we should use it sustainably so that the future generation can enjoy all the aesthetics we have enjoyed so what is a landslide so next important portion a landslide is a downward or outward movement of soil rock or vegetation under the influence of gravity it occurs when the driving force is greater than the resisting force it's a natural process that occurs in steep slopes man induced landslides are mostly common now because of the human activities like construction of roads buildings dams etc also mining deforestation pollution and soil erosion this also are main reason for man induced landslides next we can study the role of individual in conservation of natural resources one conservation of energy we can use solar panels we can plant a lot of trees and all and reforestation will be another reason for conservation of energy 
the lesser use of motor vehicle because most of the emissions of motor vehicles are toxic gases like carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide which will accumulate in the atmosphere and it will cause pollution. Then conservation of water. We can conserve water by using rain water for all the domestic purposes in, raining se in rainy season especially. Then we can use drip system of irrigation. We can check water leaks in pipes and all. Then we have to use rain water harvesting. It's very important. Next, conservation of soil. How can we conserve soil? We can conserve soil by growing different types of plants. We can use sprinkler irrigation system. We can use slow flowing water for irrigation so that the stopped soil is not flown off. Next, conservation of food resources. Always your mother will say don't waste food. Right. Next, cook only required amount of food. That's what we have to say to our mothers because uh, mother will pl cook plenty and that will be wasted because we don't have enough stomach to eat a lot of food. Then, protect food grains from insects. We are storing a lot of grains in our home and these grains will be affected by insects and we should protect all these um, food grains from insects and all. And similarly, in agriculture also, the farmers should protect the food grains from in insects and all. Next slide, conservation of forest. We should use non-timber products. We can plant a lot of trees. Grazing should be controlled. Minimize paper and fuel use. Avoid construction of dams and roads in forest areas. Now we can study the alternative sources for sustainable lifestyles. Rate of use of renewable resources should not exceed the regeneration rates. I told you once we use the renewable resources, we should wait for its regeneration. If it takes a lot of time, we will not get these renewable resources and that is a serious matter. Next, rate of use of non-renewable resources should not exceed the rate of substitute. Non-renewable resources, if you are using exceeding manner, then its substitute is not possible to get soon. So, it's very, very important to be cautious while using non-renewable resources so that it should not exceed the rate of substitute we have to develop. Next, rate of pollutant emission not to exceed assimilative capacity of the environment. We have to always ensure that the pollution is very minimum. Otherwise, the environment will not be able to assimilate every pollutants. You understand what is assimilation? Assimilation means the deposition of these pollutants in the atmosphere. Okay, development is inevitable. Urbanization leads to construction of flats, buildings, roads, metro, flyovers, rails, but environment is to be protected. Sustainable development is a development strategy considering the need of next generation. We have to consider the future generation. No compromise for that. They have to also meet their needs. So, sustainable development is an important term you have to use in this study. Wherever you use sustainable development, you will get marks because sustainable development is essential in environment protection. Next is biodiversity. Biodiversity is the variation among living organisms from different sources including terrestrial, marine and desert ecosystems and the ecological complexes of which they are a part. It describes the richness and variety of life on earth. For example, let me say western gods that is a biodiversity. Next, our silent valley in Palakka that is also a biodiversity. So, we should protect this so that the future generation also enjoys the beauty of nature, the motherland, the mother nature of earth should be protected. Okay. Thank you for today and I think you understood all this. Uh, module 1 is very lengthy. So, in part 5, we will come to ecosystems and in that part 5, I will complete the first module. And if you have any doubts and query, you can ask in the comment box. Thank you.